Mr. Flannery, I'd like to inform you there was a speaker who spoke on the subject of the Embarcadero project earlier, so I encourage you to speak on a different subject. Actually, I came down here today to support uh, women's vote and women in politics. There are three very good votes on this council, and they're women. I can pretty well always rely on them. Um, so I can't speak about the Embarcadero because Mr. Hueso doesn't want me to speak about the Embarcadero for his own reasons. I'm not a mind reader, so I don't know. Sir, it's not that I don't want you to re uh, speak on it. I would love to you to, for you to speak on it, but you know we have rules, and we're trying to give... Uh, make sure that everybody follows and abides by, by those rules equally. This was a forum where everybody has equality, and I hope you understand that, sir. It's, it, sir, he's, he's giving us full three minutes. Thank you. Did that come out of my three minutes? No, not Thank at you. all. Okay, as I said, I'm not a mind reader, so I don't know what your motivations are, but what I, what I do want to do, <clears throat> actually, is I want to give you a heads up on a vote that you gentlemen ladies are going to take two weeks from now on the 15th, which was continued from the 28th of uh, July. And it is the amendment to a JPA. Now, uh, what's happening on the E-word um, <laughs> is important to the city. Um, but it's more than just the port. Uh, you can't just wash your hands and say, well, you know, that's port land and they control the piers and so on. And um, that's not altogether true because if you don't give them the power that they are asking for uh, or you are giving them in the joint powers agreement. So what I'm giving you a heads up on is the fact that if you if you approve the Joint Powers Amendment two weeks from now, you may, ten years from now, be driving down along that Embarcadero. Oops, sorry, Mr. Pa uh, Hueso. Um, and you may feel very ashamed when you see that there's not a plaza. There's yellow bollards and uh, trucks going not just into broad from Broadway onto the pier, but also from B Street, because as you know, the Navy has given up that piece of land so that they're going to run <clears throat> B Street through there. Now, you can't say, oh, well, you know, I was on the port, and, or I was on the city council, and I voted, but it was nothing to do with me. It had to do with the port. Trust me, it will. And I'm not sure what you're going to tell your grandchildren, but um, just be aware that it cannot happen unless you amend that joint powers agreement. Uh, essentially, agreeing to pay most of it, and what you're not paying, you're going to, you're going to lend to the port. So uh, I can understand why Mr. Hueso Mr. is sensitive about this issue, because it is a very, very important issue, and he's very committed on it, as is Mr. Faulkner. But there's eight of you on there. Thank you, sir. You're and, I, and you're right. I am very sensitive about respecting the rules and about enforcing them. That's why I believe my counsel. Uh, my council colleagues elected me to this position to try to maintain a decorum. And, uh, you know, I hope that uh, we can get more cooperation from members of the public in terms of observing our rules and working with us to make sure that we can move forward with city business. That brings us to the end of our calendar.